Simon and I are crossing back over these tidal flats to join Rhett and his family at the Rella Springs homestead, six hours away from this remote spot near the Gulf. <laughs> Simon's in fine spirits. We've crossed here several times today without incident, so I'm confident as I follow him. Right about now, though, I'm wondering why the cameraman is madly waving at me from the sideline as I drive over. Turns out he wasn't rolling his camera and he's not happy. It wasn't recording. Who said go? I'm going to have to go back so he can get the shot. But on the way over, this happens. I've broken through the sand crust into the mud. We're in trouble. And we don't realise just how much. We back up Simon's truck and dig it into the sand to anchor it so he can winch me out. I only just made that one, eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> When's the tide coming in? Now, here's where the bad luck starts to pile up. Simon's truck has compromised brakes so the winch is just dragging him towards me instead of pulling me free of the mud. Yeah, yeah no drama, but... Um... Simon can't just hold himself in place with reverse gear and low range because he needs the engine to power the winch. Otherwise, he'll run the battery flat in minutes. We need another plan, and quick. I've got to get out of those tracks. So I grab the snatch straps and double them up so Simon can stay well clear of the mud as he pulls me free. It's the fastest option, and time is of the essence. So you start your wheel spinning, you say, OK, I'm spinning, and then I'm going to go. All right. This place is treacherous. Once you break through that top 10 centimetres of sand, it's bottomless mud beneath. And that salt water is starting to come up to the bottom of my doors. Start spinning. So here's where things start to really go pear shaped. <laughs> now we're f you stuck too. Yep. Yeah, we're getting out. Not good having the other car bog, but. We start the recovery on Simon's truck, but it's worse than we realise. The tide just turned. Yeah. Holy shit. We've only got 10, 15 minutes tops until I'm underwater. Shit. We're getting it. Yeah, I know. OK, so first we have to winch out Simon. Hold it there. You want to unhook the winch? I'll keep digging this. Now back to the original recovery. We add another strap to get Simon well away from the mud, right up here on the grass where the ground is harder. We've lost valuable time, but we're confident this approach will get my truck out as long as Simon can maintain traction. The tide is really cranking in now. Check out what my dash camera was recording while we are getting Simon's truck out. It's a race against time. I'm ready to go. It's working. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby, come on. Then it happens. Holy shit! Holy My heart is racing. I just want to know if Simon is all right. I 
I just hope Simon isn't injured. That wasn't good, was it? Holy oh, shit. Oh my god, that. man. Oh my god. Yeah, we're f now. Now we're f Nah, winch. <sighs> Come on, man, winch. Get out. This is messed up right here. Oh, for venture my ass. This little tree out by itself is our only hope at the moment. Oh, put it back in gear. No, it's not in. This is messed up shit. Is my car right? Is it in gear? My car's out, half out. Your car's the least of the worries. Is it right? well, How's these go on this side with the engine oil? Try and level it out, I guess. We've got to get it over first. Have you got it in gear? Sorry? Have you got it in gear? Yeah, yeah, go, go. Push. Oh, go! Go! All right, back the winch off. There's not a mark on it. The scrub bar's in the side step saved ya. No shit. I kid you not. Got to be happy with that. <laughs> come back, come back off the winch. I'll get it off. Don't worry about the winch now. The winch is all buggered up. Has it? What? Oh, it's all snarled up. We'll just all put... snarled up. I'll chuck it in the car. All right. Get around this side of the street. This side. Over here. All right. Flick it in. Busted me watch. Oh, my God. This is just madness. Oi. So... We know what happened, don't we? Yeah, we came across on the angle too much. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to get straight. So you got... Yeah, she's out. Okay, you good to give another go? I'm good to go, mate, but you keep that straight. At least nothing else can go wrong now. Or can it? I'm bogged again! Go the winch! That winch is all f***ed up. Jeez. We've got to untangle that winch rope. We can't give up now. Hold on. Good? Just hold on. Whoa. Simon's almost out. But with this incoming tide, even the hard-packed sand here is given away. We have to get his truck right up onto the grass. The strap! What? Get your other strap and I'll get up on there. Another strap? Get your strap strap and I'll get up on there. Get up on top? This is it. If we don't get my truck out this next go, it's gone. There's no room for error and we both know it. I've never been so determined in all my life. It is crunch time. This tide's coming in way further. Ready? Yes. I'm good to go. Come on, man. Come on. We're nearly out of the water. One more. I'm out, I'm out. Stop, stop, I'm out, I'm out. Thank God for that. Is that the craziest thing you've ever seen? Because that, that just blew my mind. That there would have to be the stupidest thing that I've ever done. to go back the second time to get the camera shot, because that's what it was. I'd gone back because the cameraman told me that he didn't get the shot. And so I've gone back thinking, we've been running across this that many times, it's that easy. And what happened? It wasn't. We busted through the surface and that was it. The second we do that, the tide turns, and that is how quickly 
a serene, fun day can turn into an absolute nightmare for somebody, for us. On one simple mistake, we almost lost two cars. At least we'll have one hell of a story to tell back at the station.